Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bring to episode 1 of season 2 of Isekai Quartet. So I think it's started in 3, 2, 1, go. Showing my husband. <laughs> Right, I mean, rude. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's up, Amelia? It's um, it's Vitalia, isn't it? Or fetal. They're supposed to have a transistor, right? Where? Where? <laughs> hey, cutie. How you doing? Yes, Victoria, my baby. <laughs> Aqua, sit down. I mean, not even Aqua. Assume you sit your butt down. Because Aqua just thinks she all that because she went with the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. I forgot how adorable he is. Yeah, but you know I'll bet all with that. <laughs> Best girl, how you doing? You too, Shelter. How you doing, boo? Jesus. <gasps> you just made me. Oh, you are so far. Oh, Beto, I'm sorry, babe. Mm. So, now for me, how'd you get here? Mm -mm. Good question. <laughs> oh my god.
Best girl Jerry with my other best girl. Damn. It still counts, baby. Love a bite. It's okay. Don't come back. <laughs> of course you go right into it. My child, we love her. Yeah. Mm hmm Black spiky hair with the shield. <laughs> He's basically kind of like Cloud from Final Fantasy. A mm, little bit of brooding. It's like that, but that's okay. I like that. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Poor baby. You Oh, nice. Hey, don't worry, he's coming. <laughs> the 
because they got to make that grand entrance, you know. Melty. That's it. We ain't gotta have everybody else who get serious to come into this show. Because they're all AO. Well, no. I'll take that back with stump characters. Oh my god, it was so good. Oh my god. I mean, okay, because number one, yes, Melty, my other daughter, <clears throat> she needs to be in this show. And then I would say, I don't remember everybody's name. Um,. I already know he's going to fucking spew hero. He, everybody else is going to be in there. So, I mean... I do want Kitty Ho's voice actor to come in this. Because, of course... I mean, he was in freaking Shield Hero. So, of course, he's going to be in this. But they're all going to be in Class 1, I presume. Because that's where everybody... Like, the side characters are... But it's weird because now for me, should be... <laughs> it should be with the right thing. Characters all in the same room together, the main characters and the main, you know, side characters all in the same room together because they're just as important, but then everybody else is in like the second or third glass room. They're important, but they're not as important as the main top three or four or seven main characters, no matter how many characters you have in a show, than anybody else. I, I really enjoyed this first episode just to see them because it's like it's been like what almost a no, it, I think it's been a fully like, almost a year since Shield Hero came out, and you know you gotta miss that show. And we already know that it's getting a second and third season, and it's just the feels, and, and it's so funny because like I, I hear both now for me around telling you talk. I'm just still getting funny girl sent by feels and how I felt a couple of weeks ago when I was watching that movie and I was crying over that crap. Which we will not go, we will not talk about that, but it's just, oh god, it, that is an experience in a nutshell. But yes, I'm so happy all three of them are here. Heck, they like, on the freaking Twitter page, they had this art and it was so pretty. I was like, oh my god. I was like, look at my baby, it was so cute. Uh, but it feels like, you know, it, it's just continuing right where it left off in a way. But <laughs> the funny thing also about this is seeing Amelia. And Beatrice in this episode, I kind of got triggered. Not, not in a bad way, a little in a good way because of the fact it's like <laughs> a while back ago for Bandity, they were doing a um a collab with ReZero, and I was like, okay, awesome, and it was for Rosalia and stuff, and I was like, okay, I want Yukina <laughs> slash Amelia and Akko slash Beatrice to come home. They didn't come home. That's it. Moral of the story. They did not come home on JP. And so I am saving my butt off. Even though I only have like under like a thousand fucking gems. And I'm a half like two thousand. Trying to save my butt off to get these girls. Because it's the best freaking band with the best thing. So I'm kind of hoping that they do more Isekai stuff with Rosalia and Ish. But yeah, I really liked it. It was so good. I mean, for a first episode. Like going back to season one, episode one. And how I felt last year, <laughs> you know, because the fact is I had only watched, out of those four shows, um, three out of the four, and the only one that I hadn't seen was Overlord, and now to the fact it's coming back almost, like, what, almost a year later in a way, and having seen every single show and stuff already, <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> it's just so good. Just put freaking um, Kajitiro in season uh, season three, if it gets to season three. I mean, it's weird to even talk about it, even though we're only on season, <laughs> season two, episode two. But we all know this show's gonna get... I feel like they're gonna milk the crap out of this. I don't know how much they'll milk out of it, but they're gonna do it. And because of the fact is the same people who have made literally every show that these characters are in has also made Kajitiro. It makes the, mo the most sense. I remember, like two, three weeks ago when we were getting very close to the end of Kajit Hero, how <laughs> when we, I know it wasn't, not only that, it was like almost like the halfway point and we found out these characters were going to be in the show. Everybody was like, well, we kind of don't really want them now. We just want the cast of Kajit Hero. I was like, wait, hold on. I still want now to be in friends in this show, but still at the same time, I do want Saya <laughs> and restart day and imagine the rest of them to be in this show just to see but I mean who knows I mean like I said we're only on the first episode of season two and literally anything could happen I mean I wouldn't be surprised as by the time we finish this get on week 12 that it's going to get a season three I felt like I said 100% I feel like they're going to milk this series not in a bad way but in a really good way I just don't want it to be like we get Two or three seasons down, not even two or three, um, five seasons down the line, and then it like it comes way too repetitive, and it gets too many characters. Like I feel like if they do Cautious Hero, if after this season, then maybe don't do anybody else. But if they wanted to do somebody else, there is one other show they could do besides Cautious Hero, and it comes out on Wednesdays, and I'm currently watching it. I just can't remember the name right now. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode one of season two of Isekai Quartet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode two. Bye, guys.